Good day everyone and welcome to growercoach.com. Ken Salvell here today and uh, we're just uh, looking at vitamins for the garden today. So it sounds kind of funny but it's true that, uh, that uh, a lot of the vitamins that we take are actually minerals that the plants really do appreciate. So um, it's funny how these, uh, these sometimes uh, nutrient deficiencies that affect plants can affect their health. So here we have the world famous uh, zucchini plant and it's starting to produce some zucchinis down below. And I noticed that it's got a little bit of a, what's called blossom end rot. And I was gonna see if I can get one of these out. Just a little bit, can you see that? A little bit of a, a shriveled up end on that little zucchini there. So that's a calcium deficiency that causes that. So blossom end rot on zucchinis or uh, also on tomatoes, very common and uh, totally curable, but you gotta get on it and you gotta get on it early. So, um, you know, you lose one or two, but I still have time now to start my treatments to get this going. So very important to get our vitamins to our plants. So what we have is, uh, I have a couple different types of spritzers. One of the problems that we have with the zucchinis is that they're, they're prone to powdery mildew and it usually has to do with drought stress sometimes if they dry out too much, but it's usually daytime temperatures that cause it more than anything. And with mildew, you can only prevent it. You can't eliminate it. Once you've got mildew, there's no turning back. It just affects the plant and it'll, it'll just keep going until, uh, until those leaves are done. Uh, sometimes the plant will recover and come back, you'll get some new leaves on top, but uh, it's just a tough one, but you can prevent it. You can't kill it, but you can prevent it. So how do you prevent it? Uh, vitamin B I have here, which is not really vitamin B, it's actually baking soda. So I write on my little spritzer, I put about a half a teaspoon, about between a half a teaspoon and a teaspoon in about a half a liter of water, and I just shake it up really well like that, give it a good shake, and then I'll take that and I'll spritz it all over my plant, top and bottom and everywhere. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna give baking soda over the surfaces of the leaves. So what the deal is with that is that baking soda, no plant, no uh, fungus of any kind is going to grow wherever there's baking soda, especially powdery mildew. So having that nice coating over my plant really helps. Problem is, is that um, with the uh, zucchinis, they grow so fast that sometimes there'll be new leaves shooting up right away and then all of a sudden they're exposed. And if the leaf doesn't have a little bit of baking soda on it, well then you're going to get mildew again. So you gotta be on it on a regular basis. What I do is I, I have my spritzer out in the garden all the time, and whenever I go out in the garden, I just give it a spritz. I try not to do it in the heat of the day. I like to do it in the morning or in the afternoon. Um, evenings actually is the best time because uh, early evening is just because the mildew uh, may proliferate a little bit over the night when the temperatures hit that perfect 20 degrees Celsius that they just love. Uh, so that's one thing. The other thing is, is that we found that uh, through studies that, that uh, plants that are zinc deficient um, also suffer from mildew. And that's one of the things that, that's been identified is that plants that are deficient in zinc will tend to be more susceptible to mildew. So what do we do? We use vitamin Z. So again, we have to get a food grade vitamins. So we use a, the same vitamins that we would take. So we go to the, our regular pharmacy and we pick up some vitamin Z, crush up a tablet, one tablet in about a half a liter of water, shake it up really well so it's fully dissolved. And again, spritz it all over the plant. Now, what I normally do is I normally will spritz this um, about uh, every couple of days, so twice a week for this vitamin Z, I wanna make sure that the plant is not zinc deficient. So I've got two weapons there that are gonna help me, baking soda prevent, to prevent it, and vitamin Z or zinc to, uh, to help it uh, stay strong and fight against it. So those are two things. Now, what about this blossom end rot? Well, again, we can go and get food grade calcium from the, again, uh, vitamin, vitamin, it's not vitamin C, but vitamin C A, 
which is calcium, and you crush those tablets up, and you put them in your spritzer, and you shake it up, and that with that, you wanna spritz it right on the fruit itself, so right on the new zucchinis, right in that mass in the center, and just soak that with the calcium. You don't wanna put it in the earth, because if you have a calcium deficiency, it's usually because your pH is too high. Same issue with zinc. Zinc is not available when you have high pH. And in our climate here, our soil pH is very, very high. So we're always going to have a calcium deficiency, potentially an iron deficiency, and a zinc deficiency. Those are the three things that we're going to experience. So we bypass the roots. We go straight into the foliage. We can also spritz the whole plant with the... Uh, with the vitamin or the uh, the actual calcium as well, because it will absorb through the leaves, and the plant can translocate the uh, the calcium to the parts of the plants where it's needed, which is always the growing tips. That's why when the blossom end of the plant, that's where the cells are dividing. And if you run out of calcium, the cells have no walls; they can't produce a cell wall, so it starts to collapse, and then of course fungus comes in and decomposes it. So. We have to have a lot of, especially zucchinis, they grow so fast, right? So calcium, very important. Spritz it over the plant. Same with your tomatoes. Calcium, spritz it over the whole plant. So you always use food grade products because we're gonna be eating these. So very important to use that. So we have baking soda, we have calcium, and we have zinc. And you can even use Epsom salts in some of these gardens that have high pH as well. So I sometimes use uh, Epsom salts um, I, I will me, you know, spritz a little bit onto the plant, that's okay, but uh, just not too strong on the Epsom salts because it is a bit saltier, and that's something you can put into the, right into the ground around the plant, or just if you do use the Epsom salts, the granules, you just want to make sure it's very, you know, each little granule is about an inch or two apart, so you just want a little bit in there. It also has some sulfur in it as well, which helps to add sulfur to the garden, which is always beneficial. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks for tuning into our Vitamins on Vegetables series. <laughs> thanks for checking in.